Gotcha. This is the That's right. We're going to have some fun and we're going to learn something too. And this is what you do. You tune into the Uncle Devin Show here on WOL 1450 AM, 95.9 FM uh, on your listener dial here in uh, actually in the studios of Silver Spring, Maryland in the Washington, D.C. DMV area. I want to say uh, good afternoon to everyone. Uh, we're going to, we got a lot to cover today and so I'm going to get right into it. But I want to first say that... Uh, that the Uncle Devin Show today is sponsored by, uh, actually, I Am We Nation, Watoto Entertainment and Education. It's a 24-7 free online children's music radio uh, with an urban twist. Uh, we provide age and culturally appropriate children's music of different genres uh, beyond the mainstream, including hip-hop, funk, jazz, go-go, and reggae, through free online streaming that culturally affirms and nurtures our future generations. Tune in to IamWeNation.com. That's IamWeNation.com with two E's. Uh, and if your children isn't listening to I Am We Nation, then what are they listening to? Uh, again, welcome everyone here to the show. Uh, like I said, we have some, some wonderful uh, guests that I want to bring to your attention. Um, and then also, right before I get into that as well, I want to announce uh, to the audience that the Uncle Devin Show, and by the way, I'm Uncle Devin. I am um, the children's drum cushionist. So we bring the funk, the, the, the drums, and the beat to you. But this particular program is geared toward parents, teachers, and caregivers of children of African descent to teach them about the importance of music in a child's development and uh, how they can take back control of, what the, uh, of their children's music listening experience. So the Uncle Devin Show has actually is now, um, and we're very proud and honored, I mean really are honored to be a sponsor of the first ever Urban One Aw Honors Award show that's presented by Radio One coming up this Saturday, December 9th, uh, 2018 at the Anthem in the, at the Southwest Waterfront. Um, you watch um, uh, you know, award shows all the time. Well, this one is going to be great because they're going to be honoring such people like Jermaine Dupree and Brandy and June Ambrose and... Um, Tiana and Taylor and Tom Joyner and Marvin Sapp and Rick Doc Walker, uh, Sean King, Benny Pugh, Congresswoman Eleanor Holmes Norton, uh, Rodney and others. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I believe the MC is going to be D.L. Hewley, comedian D.L. Hewley. So the Uncle Devin Show is honored to be a sponsor. We're a sponsor. So we're going to be there on uh, on on this upcoming Sunday. And if you're interested in attending. Uh, you can go uh, to uh, the Anthem, or you actually uh, look up, go, go online, and we'll post information later where you can purchase a ticket and come and join uh, the festivities. I understand they're going to have a wonderful uh, celebration, um, honor, a tribute to the one and only Aretha Franklin as well. So that's uh, this upcoming Sunday, uh, at uh, um, uh, Sunday, uh, December 9th. I believe Sunday is December 9th. Uh, maybe I got their dates wrong, but it's on December 9th at the Anthem on at the Southwest um, Waterfront. Uh, we will be there, and if you are coming, let us know, and we'll catch up with you while we're there. So let's get into uh, our show because, like I said, we have some wonderful folks with us. Um, sitting in today as my co-host is my brother. Um, you know, I, I, we met officially, really. It's just funny. I met Brother Maad at the same time, or Akeem, at the same time I met our, uh, our other guest um, that's, on, on, that's coming to us by telephone. Mm -hmm. And we all met, and it's funny, it's all, we all connected by literacy. Yeah. It was at the DC Literacy Festival. <laughs> the DC Literacy Festival. Um, and so I'm honored, and I don't even think she knew that you were going to be on. <laughs> What's so awesome? I want to first of all I want to welcome to the Uncle Devin Show um, the the president of the the, the I always get the, the DC Black Ch Ch Child Development Institute uh, and my brother brother Maad uh, Akeem Ahmad. Welcome to the Uncle Devin Show. Thank you, brother. Thank you for having me. It's such an honor and pleasure, and I'm looking forward to this afternoon show. And shout out to my 
uh, new homegirl, Dr. Courtney Davis. That's right. And, 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 and joining us online is none other than the one and only Dr. Courtney Davis. And she's an independent author who has built a thriving literary community for students, teachers, parents, and fellow authors. Um, with Alphabet Books, A is for a uh, Anacostia. A is for Anacostia. And S is for Southside. Dr. Courtney Davis aims to dispel misconceptions about two neighborhoods close to her heart. Originally from Chicago Southside, Davis studied special education in Virginia and then relocated uh, to Anacostia. So I want to welcome to uh, the Uncle Devin Show, uh, Dr. Courtney Davis. Welcome to the Uncle Devin Show. Thank you so much, Uncle Devin. <laughs> I'm so excited to be here. Well, it is wonderful to have the two of you all. I mean, one, and, and you know, I, I got to say, you, you were writing the books and you're creating the venue for other book authors to be displayed. And Brother uh, Akeem is creating the bookshelves so those books to go on. And we're going to talk a little bit about both of those briefly. But, yeah. no, but let me start with you, uh, uh, Dr. C um, Davis. I'm going to call you Courtney because, you know, we, we all, like I said, we all met at the, at the Literacy Festival. Um, but first of all, tell, tell the audience a little bit about yourself, uh, more about, about your background. You know, I know you say you're a doctor. What's your education? I believe you say your education, uh, was it in, um, oh, I, I thought I just read it. I don't, I don't think I would. But anyway, give, give a little bit about your background, please. Sure. My background is in education. I'm a teacher and self-identify a teacher's teacher. Okay. So what that means is I identify very closely as classroom teacher. I'm a special education teacher that started in Chicago, on the west side of Chicago, actually. West side? And then, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Always being an educator in the in more urban areas. Uh-huh. Uh, um, uh, where I thought I would need it, where I think I am needed. Okay, wonderful. Mm -hmm. And um, and I, I also, like I said, I know we, um, you know, you've just came off a very successful event in October, I think it was, yeah. and that was the East of the River Book Festival. Yeah. Is that correct? Yeah, that is. Okay, talk briefly about that, and then we're going to talk about what you got coming up later on this month. Sure, sure. Uh, on October 20th, that was our fifth birthday celebrating the East of the River Book Festival. We we're so excited to partner with so many community-based organizations, mm -hmm. uh, like the one your guest, uh, uh, the NBCBI. Yes. Uh, was definitely a part uh, of, the, uh, of, the, of the event. It was for readers of all ages, so we had books for young children, young adults, as well as our elders. And it really focused on highlighting the efforts of indie authors um, and giving them a platform to showcase their storytelling abilities, as well as uh, giving an opportunity for those who are interested in writing their own narrative to learn some new skills okay. and how to market their own indie books. Okay, wonderful. Mm -hmm. Well, um, I, I know that, you know, with Brother um, Akeem here, and we're going to have a wonderful conversation. I know that you also, see, you know, the one thing is when I was on your Instagram page and on your Facebook page, you are truly a community person, a truly a community person. Because, I, you know, I, I do some advertising for the show. It took me forever to find a picture just of yourself. <laughs> Just of yourself. It was hard to find that. So, but you always had others with you. And just like today, you have, you have someone else with you um, that's calling in. And I want her to come and join this conversation as well. Um, I want to welcome to the Uncle Devin Show, Katrina Denise, author of, did I, did I get that correct? That is correct. Okay, correct. Uh, author of The Message in the Mirror. It's also an educator and motivational speaker. She provides weekly reviews of books by African-American authors and illustrators. And so, Katrina, welcome to the Uncle Devin Show. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be on the show. Okay, so now I got all three of these giants here on the show. I'm going to step back. <laughs> and I want you all to talk about what you do, uh, uh, including yourself, Akeem, because I want you to talk, uh, you know, sh at the right, uh, you know, different times. Sure, and I'm going to have you sure. come back sh just by yourself as well. But first of all... Um, uh, Katrina, tell a little bit about your experience. What got you into um, doing children's books? And tell us a little bit about, more about your background. All right. Well, I'm an educator as well. Um, I started teaching in the Baltimore City School System. And I've always been an avid writer, but I had lots of students that were 
um, just interested. They did not want to read. And when I inquired why is it that they didn't want to read the books, and it wasn't always that they couldn't, they just didn't find any books that were to their liking. Right. Um, many of them said that the characters uh, were unrealistic. Uh, mm -hmm. Everything was like a fairy tale or a fantasy. The situations were relatable. Mm -hmm. And so I began searching for books that would fit the need, and I couldn't find any, so I decided to write on my own. Ah, so see, you're not um, just a problem. Like, yeah. You don't just yeah. identify a problem. You're a solution maker, so you, you created created the solution. Definitely. So I tried my best. I jumped in the ring, and I started writing, and the kids started to read the books that I was writing in class, um, and at that point, of course, they did not look like your typical book in the library or bookstore. They were just the text, but they became so excited about it, and then when I had my daughter... I took her to the library to get her first library card, and I tried to get her to grab Cinderella and the smaller books, you know, that were more age-appropriate. Uh -huh. And she kept gravitating towards the novels because there was a girl with an astro puff that looked like her. Uh -huh. And I said, you know what? I can't sit on this anymore. It has right. to be something that that's I can right. get out to the mask. That's right. That's right. Yeah. And, well, that's wonderful. And so I want to, you know, engage in this conversation here. And, and, and Brother Akeem, I can bring you into this. Sure, sure. I mentioned, um, you know, you talked about bookshelves. Yes. We have two authors who are children's book um, authors. And by the way, um, a full disclosure, I too am a children's book author as well as a children's musician. Um, I've, I've written a book called The ABCs of Percussion. Uh, for every letter of the alphabet, there's a percussion instrument named after it. Mm -hmm. And it comes with an audio CD where you can hear what each instrument sounds like. So my book needs a bookshelf as well. And I want to talk to you, brother. What, <laughs> what, tell a little bit about your project. And also, um, and, and, and then we just want to, again, we're going to have a, 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 a flow of conversation yes. about the importance that, that, that literacy plays yes. in our community. Absolutely. Oh, uh, man. So, you know, this is it's certainly an, an exciting opportunity and, uh, you know, a great moment for all of us right now, the way I kind of see it. Uh, just based on how uh, literacy plays a very important, important part in our lives uh, and just uh, affects us in all areas of life. Mm -hmm. And so to have us come together and speaking on this issue mm -hmm. uh, is great. And so, you know, for the Black Child Development Institute DC, uh, in my role as the president, it's been um, an honor to be on the front line of promoting and advocating the importance of building in-home libraries. And so for us, uh, certainly, uh, as it, you know, could be seen as a novice idea, the goal has been to create and build uh, bookshelves. Mm -hmm. um, and so we've been doing that uh, through, uh, in part, by procuring bookshelves from uh, IKEA mm -hmm. uh, at a relatively uh, modest price. Uh, and in doing that, we were able to, uh, you know, over the last year, build and support families in building in-home libraries. And so for us, in addition to just having a bookshelf, it's critically important that the bookshelf be um, um, stocked, stocked yeah. <laughs> with right. books that are culturally relevant and responsive. Right. Uh, and that's Ooh. been our goal as well, is to align ourselves with African-American authors who you know, have stories with pr protagonists that are re re able to be related to the children. Uh, and I love, as uh, author Denise uh, mentioned about her own daughter and her own experience, and then in being mm -hmm. able to self-identify. Yes. So that's really what our goal is, to be able to support children around building best uh, mm -hmm. um, habits or building best in-home literacy practices through the Bookshelf Project mm -hmm. and connecting with great folks like uh, Dr. Courtney yes. and uh, Katrina in yes. doing that. Mm -hmm. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to have to take a quick break in just a moment, but when we come back, I want to make sure that the audience knows how to reach each one of you. That's the most important thing. We need to support each one of you and what you're doing and, and, the, and the wonderful work that you're doing. Uh, so we're going to uh, you know, be prepared to share that information. Sure. Uh, but, um, but right now, again, you're listening to the Uncle Devin Show here on WOL 1450 AM. 95.9 FM. If you want to join the conversation, you can give us a call at 1-800-450-7876. That's 1-800-450-7876. Uh, we'll be right back. Yeah, I do have some questions. Okay, yeah, I want you to take over. Okay. 
I'm Please here all the time. I want you to. Capitol Hill Constitution Avenue between Third Street North all right. and Second Street Northeast. Blocked off right well, now. Right. Louisiana oh. Avenue. Uh, Marsha. Find your way around to the Let me turn this down a little bit. Hey, Marsha Turner. Good to see you. Thanks for tuning in. And my niece, Maya. And also, Michael Friend. What's happening? Thank y'all for tuning in. 30 seconds. You need to help keep your car on the road no matter how many miles it has. Quality parts, helpful people. That's Napa Know How. Now, your WOL weather forecast for today gradually increasing clouds and the highs in the upper 50s today. Tonight, down to the mid 30s under cloudy sky. Tomorrow, becoming sunny and colder, though. High tomorrow in the low 40s. The version of 1450 AM and 95.9 FM. WOL, where information is power. All right, welcome back to the Uncle Devin Show here on WOL 1450 AM, 95.9 FM, part of the Radio One Network. And again, just want to thank our sponsor today, which is I Am We Nation Radio. 24-7 free online children's music radio with the Urban Twist. Uh, we provide age and culturally appropriate children's music of different genres beyond the mainstream, including hip-hop, funk, jazz, go-go, and reggae. And I get a lot of parents that say, we're tired of kids bop. We need some music that reflect <laughs> us. And and that's what I Am We Nation does. So go to I Am We Nation with two E's. Stands for Watoto Entertainment and Education. Um, you can tune in right now and listen to some great music. But similarly, just like we talk about with music, we're also talking about getting books that reflect us. And I believe the last statistics that I saw was certainly under 7% of all children's book mm -hmm. books reflect uh, children of African descent, um, and even less, of course, for even you know Native Americans and, and, and whatnot. Let's talk a little bit about the importance of music. And then while you're doing that, I want you to also to share information on how people can reach you because the, the time flies by, and I don't want to. I want to make sure we get that information out. So I'm gonna I'm gonna start with you, Doc, D Doctor. I'm gonna keep referring to you as, as Doctor Davis because you burn that, and you you know. But but from your your perspective, why is that important? Why is it important for us to have uh, books that reflect us, uh, you know, kind of piggybacking on what uh, Katrina said. I really, Katrina really hit it on the head for us that uh, our students need to see themselves, and also they need to see themselves in a message that runs counter to what they see mm -hmm. on the television, mm -hmm. what they hear, and some of the more negative music, and sometimes what's happening uh, in the magazines that we're picking up, uh, and. For me, as an indie author, I was allowed to create to create this this venue uh -huh. where I wrote about my own community, which was Anacostia in Washington D.C. Right. And so the idea of you know not only reinforcing what we can see in our own communities, but also introducing my community to people who don't know anything about Anacostia. And yes. it introduces another perspective, a more authentic perspective of someone who is a resident. Yes. And I did the same thing um, for the, the book on the south side of uh, Chicago. But I think that's the premise, that there's an authenticity there um, and a pro providing a different perspective that runs counter to so many other media that are just pop that are negative yes. in their view. And, mm -hmm. you, and you have something coming up later this month, and I, I want to make sure we spend time on that. Uh, tell the audience a little bit about that. Absolutely. It's the first of its kind at the shops at Iverson. And just in case folks don't know, what are you talking about the shops at Iverson? Mm -hmm. It's formerly known as the Iverson Mall. Mm -hmm. And it's the 2018 Holiday Book Bazaar. It's a pop-up store with great books for readers of all ages. And it's actually scheduled on two days. That's December 15th and December 22nd. 3737 Grant Avenue, Temple Hill, Maryland, from 12 to 5. Please feel free to follow us at Iverson HBB and uh, on Twitter, and also hashtag 2018 HBB um, on Twitter as well. As, and you'll see, uh, we'll have uh, uh, Katrina Denise will also yes, be I was about to ask you that. Mm -hmm. as well as 11 other authors, and it's for readers of all ages. Not just focusing on children, but okay. on young adults as well as our elders too. Okay, and I'm glad you clarified that. So it's a little, yeah. little bit of everyone that's there, and I might even, and, and you know, I grew up, you know, you know, at Iverson Mall back in the day. Oh my goodness! And so I'm glad to hear that we're, you know, you, you, we're 
we're utilizing the space that is vital, that's critical, that's prime real estate that we can help to redevelop. So um, thank you for that. So so again, that's going to be um, at the sh uh, the shops at Iverson, and this is the 2018. Um, it's called Holiday the Book Bazaar. Holiday Book Bazaar. Um, want you to come on out. That's going to be on December 15th and December 22nd. Uh, and you said that we can reach you uh, at Iverson HBB. Yeah. yeah. Uh, is that Iverson HBB and at hashtag 2018 HBB. Okay. HBB stands for the Holiday Book Bazaar. Okay. All right. And so, and so if they want to reach you, they can reach you that way. And how about yourself, Katrina? If someone wants to reach you and purchase your, your material, uh, how can they do that? Sure. Well, first, I just wanted to give a tidbit of information about the book. And so while we're talking about diversity and talking about, um, you know, bringing things in that re reflect our community, uh, this book is entitled The Message in the Mirror. And it's about a young lady who struggles to see herself. So unlike you or I, when we go to the mirror, we clearly identify and see ourselves reflected back. This young lady sees whomever she perceives to be better or who has bullied her because what you believe or what you have in the forefront of your mind is what stands out. Yes. And if you don't believe in yourself, then you never see yourself for who you truly are. And so that's kind of the premise of this book. It's really about seeing the message in the mirror and its authenticity, meaning that you are powerful, amazing, special, unique, and all of those great things just as you are. So if anyone is interested in purchasing this awesome children's book, it is will be available at the bazaar. I will be there on 12-15. Uh, that's the day I'll be there. And then you can go to KatrinaDenise.com. That is my website where you can purchase autographed copies of the book as well as other merchandise. Um, it's also available um, on some of the other online bookstores and local bookshops. But I hope to see people on 1215 or at my website. Um, and then if you're looking for other great books, because I definitely believe there's enough room in the kingdom for us all. If you're looking for other great authors that I highlight, um, please go over to my Instagram page, which is Cat. that's K-A-T-S, Cat Book Bag, where I have a load of, um, you know, highlights and reviews that I've done on other books by African-American authors and illustrators. Oh, that's wonderful. Cat Book yep. Bag. Um, and then real quick. Yeah, and the message in the mirror is Instagram uh, for my book as well as uh, KatrinaDenise.com to order your copy. Okay, and before I turn it over to you, brother, um, let me also, before I forget, need to wish my sister a happy birthday. Uh, there would be no Uncle Devin if it wasn't for my sister. Uh, so love you, Sin. Thank you very much um, for, for everything you've done for the family. And we're wishing you many, many, many more, brother. Absolutely. So uh, for those that are interested in learning more about the work of the Black Child Development Institute, D.C., you can find us on the web at bcdidc.org. Uh, you certainly are able to email me directly for any inquiries uh, in how you can Get a, you know, become part of the bookshelf project at Ikeem, I H K E E M, at bcdidc.org. We're on Facebook, uh, Black Child Development Institute, DC Metro. We're on Twitter, bcdidc underscore uh, bcdi underscore dc, uh, and uh, Instagram, Black Child Development. So certainly, we look forward to individuals being able to follow, but certainly uh, reaching out directly to me is welcomed. And real quick, just give a quick overview again of what the Black uh, Child Development Institute is about. So BCDIDC, Black Child Development Institute, is a chartered affiliate of the National Black Child Development Institute, which has been around for 48 years and founded by Evelyn K. Moore. Uh, it's currently led by Topeka G. Green. And uh, we have over 27 affiliates throughout the nation. And many of us, you know, I mean, our mission is to improve the lives of black children uh, and families through education and advocacy. Uh, we all uh, strive to, uh, you know, um, follow through on programs that the national office uh, implements as well as our own local initiatives. Uh, and certainly, um, you know, the goal is to have a national network that uh, is empowered and capable of doing just that, improving the lives of black children and black families. So through connections and partnerships uh, with uh, folks on the line, Dr. Courtney and uh, Katrina, we are able to do our work uh, and, and build uh, uh, healthy lives for black families and black children. Okay, and then uh, and I'm, I'm a, probably the last question for you, Courtney. Um, okay. um, in, in terms of what were some of the challenges or successes you faced as an independent author? I think sometimes people need to hear that. We want to have you see if you can wrap that up in about one minute uh, before we move <laughs> forward, <laughs> if it's possible. <laughs> let's see, let's see what I can wrap up. I would say one of the largest challenges that I faced was that I opportunity to distribute the book and make sure it was exposed to the rest of the world. Right. Which is why I helped to create this platform mm -hmm. to have yes. pop-up bookstores yes. and, and festivals so that indie authors, hopefully it will not be that much of a challenge for them as it was for me when I started
figured out many years ago. Mm -hmm. And what about somebody that says, I don't have children. Um, I don't need to be buying these books. What? How can you speak to them? You know what? I would tell them, it doesn't matter if you have a child or not, because we have readers throughout our entire community. Yes, mm -hmm. exactly. For, for people with children, I mean, for, even if you are a person without a, a, a child, you can purchase children's books. You can donate them to a church, yeah. to a library, to a school, uh, to other to hospital, recreational mm -hmm. centers that are in the community. That's and right. let me share with you, many adults almost like to read, too, all kinds of materials. Yes. So whether they're books, they're magazines, uh, comic books, or what they're now called graphic novels, you can mm -hmm. donate those to senior citizens' homes that are in our community, churches, uh, well, you'll find people at any public venue, you're going to find a person who needs something that's interesting to look at and interesting to read. Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And that's the important thing because I, I, we get that a lot. Sh share, share a book. Absolutely. That's the one thing you, you can never, you never know where that book will end up, how it will inspire someone else, um, and support. Fi yes. Give make good reading. Yeah, make a donation to the National Black Child uh, Child Development Institute, yeah. who are doing great, who's doing some great work. Make a donation um, to the East of the River Book Festival or to what you're doing and, and, and what you're doing, and also support Katrina because she's highlighting other authors um, yeah. in this effort. It's a communal effort for sure, and we need to be steadfast. If, in fact, we should maybe try to start a campaign where we encourage people to buy one book and share each each and every time. But but listen, we we we, we got to uh, wrap up our show today. I want to thank my guest, uh, Dr. Courtney Davis. Um, uh, and again, real quick, uh, wh where's your information at? Uh, Nick? I'll tell you what, we, 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 we'll, we'll share it on my website, but I know you have the 2018 um, book, 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 what is it called? 2018. Right, right. It's, 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 it's at, on Twitter, it's at Iverson HBD, and also on Twitter, hashtag 2018 HBD. Uh huh. Okay. For the holiday book. Tour. All right. And I want to thank you, uh, Katrina Denise, for being a guest thank on the you, show. Man. And brother, uh, my, my, thank you for it very much. This is the Uncle Devin Show. Thank you for tuning in. And remember, life is a drum, so beat it. Hey, Mary Kobe. Hey, Mary Kobe. I see you connecting. Thank you very much. And, and hey, Lori, I'm sorry I didn't see you in time to give you a shout out. So I will um, I will make sure you get connected, too. Um, I'll connect you with the authors. Um, I'll, I'll do that later on today, just send you a message. Um, and before we can conclude, I'd like to have a little side conversation. You know, I'm going to eventually put this on, on Facebook. But... Um, but just real quick, from from your standpoint, so how can people support you even more in some of the things that they're doing? I mean, you physically put together these bookshelves when you do them. That's I know that's one thing you can use some help. Absolutely. With. Okay. So on our um, Twitter, or I should say our Facebook, you probably will find more details. I should okay. Say you probably will. You'll find some more details mm -hmm. about being able to become a volunteer. Mm -hmm. uh, if not, you can email me directly. I came I H K E E M at bcdidc.org mm -hmm. if you're interested in becoming a, a part of the organization and becoming a volunteer mm -hmm. we do need others to come out and help us assemble bookshelves mm -hmm. we need volunteers to help us actually deliver bookshelves mm -hmm. uh, we need volunteers to uh, support us and even uh, maybe facilitating some of our workshops we have coming out in a part of uh, the bookshelf project are our family literacy ambassadors. Mm -hmm. So if you're in Ward 8 and you're interested in becoming a family literacy ambassador, that's another way to get involved. Okay. Uh, but definitely if you're interested in donating, mm -hmm. uh, it's very economical, you know, for a bookshelf, that's $20. For donating perhaps five books based on where we curate them, uh, you could donate five books and uh, $25 is all mm -hmm. we're asking for. Okay. If you want to really uh, have an impact you can help support a family by uh, donating a full library, which mm. would be $120. Oh, that's all? Uh, that's all. So certainly, yeah. I like that response, brother, because okay, that yeah. is all. Okay. And we know the data says that a child is exposed to at least 20 books or more okay. has an opportunity to academically increase by two or three years. So wow. you can make a significant impact with just one $120 donation uh, to a family to support building a okay. home library. And Lori, I see your message. You uh, want an info on your website. Uh, did you want more information on his website? Matter of fact, why don't you give your website again? Sure. Uh, BCDIDC.org. Okay. BCDIDC.org. And that stands for Black Child Development Institute, Institute DC.org. Yeah. 
Okay, if you're interested in mine, I know, Lori, you already know how to reach me uh, on my site. And for those that are tuning in now, and you, you may not have got a chance to, to check it out earlier, we're honored that the Uncle Devin Show is a sponsor for the first annual Urban One Awards uh, program coming up this Sunday, uh, December the 9th. Um, Urban One is the largest distributor of urban content in the country. And um, they're going to, uh, I think D.L. Hewley is going to be the uh, host but they're going to be honoring uh, Jermaine Dupree, Brandy, June Ambrose, uh, Tiana, uh, Taylor, uh, Tiana Taylor, Tom Joyner, Marvin Sapp, Rick Doc Walker, uh, Sean King, Benny Poe, po, I think that's how I pronounce it, Congressman Eleanor Holmes Norton, uh, Rodney, and others. And so the fact that we're in a position to be able to um, uh, to be a, a, a sponsor, yeah. you know, I, I'm, I'm just honored for that. And, and this will help us because we're trying to, our goal is to create the first ever nationwide children's music program yeah. in our community. Awesome. We want radio for children on every, in every urban community and, and, and abroad beyond in, in, the, in the country. So we're moving in that direction and Radio One has given us a platform to do that. So, um, hey Paula, thanks for listening. Uh, we're going to, um, as soon as this is over, I'm going to uh, republish this on our uh, Facebook page, and then ultimately it will be up on our YouTube page. So, also, I'm going to have the brother back exclusively just to interview him. He was we we were supposed to do this some time ago, um, but he's a former teacher. I want to talk to him. Well, he is a teacher. Let me back up. He's a teacher that may not directly be in the classroom right now, right. but uh, I want to talk to him about his experiences being a, a teacher, especially a black male teacher. But also, we want to we want to do a deep dive mm -hmm. into um, everything happening with children. I yeah. mean, you know, we, we really have to do what we can to get rid of this, uh, you know, uh, school to prison it's, pipeline. Absolutely, you and know. we're responsible for that. We, so being informed is the best way to actually dismantle this. That's right. Yeah. We can't look for no one else to do it. No one else. We can't. There's nobody yeah. else to do it but us. Yeah. And um, so uh, there's some things that, you know, we, we're doing it. He's doing it here, building bookshelves. I'm doing it with music. The other go. others are doing it in yeah. their own way. So so thank you all for tuning in. Um, uh, stay tuned. You're going to be seeing a lot of commercials. In fact, we're going to be here later today um, doing some commercials as a result of our sponsorship. Um, the Urban One Honors Award is going to be recorded on Sunday, and then it's going to be aired on TV One. Um, starting in January through M March or something to that extent. So, um, uh, you know, keep, keep us in your prayers, keep us in your thoughts, and, and, uh, and, and help us to, to give children what they need, uh, their own music, so we can stop having them listening to inappropriate adult music. Absolutely. All right. Thank you, everyone. We'll catch up with you next time. Uncle Devin, Brother Akeem, signing off. Peace.